Hello, everyone. So um, we got the news today that Kevin Conroy passed away. And if you're not familiar with Kevin Conroy, he was uh, a very famous voice actor. He was also an, an actor. He did a lot of stuff for stage and even some movies and stuff. But he was mostly known as the voice of Batman. And uh, as someone, you know, my age, and I think a lot of people in chat would agree with me, we a lot of us grew up watching Batman the Animated Series. And he didn't just play Batman in Batman the Animated Series. He also um, played Batman in just about anything you can think of, right? Like, there were a few exceptions where it was like it was like Will Arnett or, or, or it was... Um, uh, he was the voice of heroism for a generation, according to A. That's very true. Um, you know, there were a few other Batman voice actors. Troy Baker did it, for example. But a lot of times, you know, like the very best Batman projects were voiced by Kevin Conroy. He really was the best Batman, you know. Um, he did loads of cartoons. He did loads of movies. He even played a live-action Batman in uh, one of those CW shows. And uh, he did video games, the Arkham Asylum you know, quadrilogy, all of those games. Well, actually, I think he didn't do Origin. That was Troy Baker. But um, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight, that was all uh, That was all him. He did Injustice and Injustice 2. You know, really, really fantastic guy. And, uh, you know, the, like the voice of heroism, he was, he was Batman for us, right? He was the first actor to ever have a voice for Bruce Wayne and a voice for Batman. He did it slightly differently. The Bruce Wayne voice was pretty much just his voice, and then he put on this steely resolve to be Batman, you know. Um, I can't do Batman like he can. Like, nobody could do Batman like he could. We found out today that he passed away, and it was kind of like a big shock. Like, no one even knew there was anything going on. He died of cancer um, after a very short battle with cancer. We really don't know much about, you know, like what happened, but we do know he was working and doing conventions and being with the fans as much as he could. I don't know if he was even treated, you know what I mean? He might have just declined treatment and just decided to just, you know, go out in a blaze of glory. Uh, we found out this morning, and a lot of people in the community were extremely sad about it, especially June. And, and June, um, who has been my best friend for over 20 years, a couple of years ago, we got her a cameo of of, of Batman, of, of Kevin Conroy. Uh, the idea came up for June's birthday that the community could sort of come together and get a cameo for June. And uh, the, the initial thought was that it was going to be Gilbert Gottfried, who also had passed since then, you know? Um, and Gilbert would have been really funny and everything, but... When we were on voice chat talking about it, it was it was actually Barrel who came up with the idea of, well, let's see what else they have, right? And Barrel's going through it and mentioned this name, that name, and said Kevin Conroy and sort of moved on because, you know, uh, Barrel didn't recognize the name because Barrel grew up with Batman the Animated Series being dubbed in Swedish, you know? So I said, wait a minute, hold on, that's Batman. That's the one. June... You know, like like that cartoon is like the comfort show for June, right? Like that got her through some really rough times in her life. Um, and we decided that was it. It was a little pricier than Gilbert Godfrey, but still like a really good price. And this sort of like, the reason that we're even talking about this right now, that we're doing a video, you know, I'm like, you know, I don't just do a video just when a celebrity dies, you know. But, you know, I talked to Kevin Conroy and... He was a really, really amazing man. And, you know, there were a lot of reasons for picking him over anyone else, specifically as a gift for June. Um, I, I can't even get into all the reasons because they're, they're, they're myriad. But I knew right then that had to be it. And we pooled our money together. Uh, the, it was six of us, I believe. It was myself, uh, Kitty, Noun, um, Sparkle. And uh, I want to say, I want to say Riddle. I'm not sure um, who all was involved. I could, I could, you know what? You're going to hear all the names because we're going to show you the video. That's going to be next. We're going to show you two videos. And the thing is, like Kevin Conroy, there were, there were so many celebrities on there that were charging like three hundred dollars for videos, you know. And then you would look at their videos, and they were good but they were just very quick. They would do a two-minute video, a three-minute video, whereas Kevin Conroy, we paid 
I believe, $150. And we've got a nearly seven-minute video. It was really long. And if you've never done Cameo, like the way it works is you, you go through an app and um, they tell you, you know, to be as detailed as possible in your in your request, but they don't give you a lot of space. So I had to pack all, as much information about June that I could into this small bit of space. And Mr. Conroy knew that that wasn't enough. That knew, like he, I don't know, he could sense it. And he reached out to me through the app, and, and that's when I talked to him. And, uh, you know, he was asking how to pronounce people's names and a few other things. And, um, you know, we were able to not only get June this gift, but June was streaming at the time. And uh, I had spoken to her. She was in a really foul mood. It was it was before her birthday. We weren't going to make her wait all the way till her birthday. But I said, are you streaming tonight? And she says to me, I'm not sure. I'm not really feeling up to it. I said, no, you're streaming tonight because we have your birthday present and we'd like to give it to you on stream. And for those of you who weren't part of the community or weren't part of this, June was going insane trying to figure it out because June really doesn't like surprises and couldn't possibly conceive of what the birthday present was going to be. That was from a bunch. I think it was six of us. And, uh, I, like I, like I said, like I know that Kitty and oh EB was in there. It was me, Kitty, EB, Sparkle, Noun, and I think pro possibly one other person, but I don't remember. I, I want to say Riddle, but I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? Oh, it was Barrel. Barrel was in there because it was like partly Barrel's idea to even do this. So, um, and then there were we found out later that there were a bunch of people who also would have been like, I would have chipped in, you know. And we didn't know, but like we were just doing it. We were trying to keep it secret. You know, like Eighth, for example, would have wanted to do it, and Alice would have wanted to do it. But we just we didn't want to get out what it was because June once June found out that we had a birthday present and it was something a surprise and we wouldn't say what it is. She knew she wasn't gonna get it out of me. She started needling Kitty and, and it's like the less people that know, the less people that could be pressured into telling what it is or even hinting at what it is. And I and I remember like getting out of the shower one night and seeing a text from Kevin Conroy that the, the video was ready. And I immediately contacted, like I'm standing there sopping wet naked and I'm like, let me get my phone out. And I contacted June and said, hey, uh, I just got, I just got it, you know, um, you're streaming tonight. And, uh, you know, I watched it and it brought tears to my eyes. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, just like today when I found out that he passed, I was, I was extremely sad, but I, it's such a beautiful video. And I uploaded it to YouTube uh, as an unlisted video that nobody could see unless I gave them the link. And I gave the link to the people that were involved that paid for it along with me. And they watched it and they were all moved to tears as well. And then uh, we waited for June to be online on Twitch. And it was actually like a really weird day because she had a hard time connecting and it was a whole thing. She was playing Snatcher and then like I had to eat dinner and we had to wait for everybody to be together and then we surprised her with it and it was like this really beautiful moment. And I've never shown the video to anybody else. The only people that have seen the video are like myself, as I've seen it, June saw it, and anybody who was at June's stream saw it. It's been on my YouTube as an unlisted video, and I never wanted to make it a public video because I, I felt like I didn't want to... Yep, too many cooks can spoil something, exactly. I never wanted to brag, like, look at what I got for my friend, you know, look at what I did, you know. Especially since it's not exactly like I was the only one involved here, you know. It was, it was six of us that did it, you know. Um... Yeah, because I think you knew, right, Eighth? I think we had let you in on it. I think I remember I, I might have let you in on it. Or maybe Kitty did, I don't know. But I know I know somebody told you. Um, or mate, no, wait, you didn't know now that I think about it. But you were, I remember, I remember Eighth, your reaction was really great. You were, you were, yeah, you said you were ready to cry. And uh, there were a lot of people that were really moved by it. And it, it's, I want to show the video now that Kevin has passed because, um, it, it's not here's june hi 
you, yeah, June had zero. June was trying hard to guess. And June said to me, do y'all have my address? When I said that I had gotten, not when it was done, but when I, when I had contacted June and said, hey, we, we, uh, we just got confirmation that it's being made. And I was always very vague in the way that I said, you know, it's being made. Um, and June was like, do you have my address right now? Because June had moved. And I said, it's, it's not a physical object. And that really drove her insane, right, June? You were going crazy, weren't you? And, and, I, and I, you know, and Kitty had told me the next day that you had been needling her, trying to find out what it is. Um, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, it's 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 you know. So I want to show the video now, not to sort of like be like, look at what we did for June, but sort of as a showcase of what an amazing person Mr. Kevin Conroy was, right? Because um, I actually think that Moogle was there, actually, because we we um, me and Eighth and everybody were sort of like everybody, everybody come to the stream now, everybody come to June's stream. You have to see this, you know. Um, it's sort of amazing that we got this really long video out of Kevin and he didn't have to do it. And I gave him as much information as I could in that little tiny paragraph of space. That's only barely more than what you get from Twitter. Um, and he turned it into this really beautiful video. And I told him about how June had been having a hard time and um, he was kind and warm and inspiring. And probably some other words that I can't even think of, but if you guys could type them into the chat, you know, he was, he was inspiring. He was, um, what did Alice just, that's a big one. There were many actors who took their shot at Batman, but for Alice, he was, yeah, he, he perfectly captured it. Absolutely right. Um, well, so yeah, the video was never seen by anybody out, outside of like the community that was there at the time but it really showcases what an amazing guy he was because he he didn't have to go as hard as he did it was heartfelt that's another one it was beautiful video and we're actually gonna so right after this I, we have me talking and we have oh, it's hard to point to the chat we have the chat talking but um yeah kevin Con kevin conroy he's the batman exactly he's the batman um, we're going to show two video. We're going to show the video and, uh, you, you guys will see that. And then after that, we're going to share the stream highlight that June had saved so that you can see the video again, but you could hear June's reaction and also see the outpouring of love and everything and the chat's reaction too. But... For me, like I said, I, I, I was streaming earlier, uh, where I'm streaming now, but I was playing Dragon Quest IV, and I said, what do you guys think about the idea of making this public, of, you know, not to show, hey, look, we got Kevin Conroy for a friend, but to show, like, hey, look at what this amazing video that Ken, Kevin Conroy did. He had the highest review score I've ever seen on Cameo. You know, that he, he would reply quickly that he would do these long detailed videos now i know someone who i'm not going to name because i don't want to but i know someone who got a cameo for uh their spouse and it was a famous actor uh who had been in many many horror movies and that person's wife was a big fan and that person spent more than double the amount that we did and got a three minute video so for for Kevin Conroy to be doing this day in and day out because there were a lot of, lot of, lot of requests for him. He was a very popular on Cameo. And to sit there and put not only time into it, you know, of doing six minute videos, seven minute videos, eight minute videos, but to put the amount of effort into it and the amount of emotion into it and to, to personalize each one in such a very special way shows you what a great loss this has been that he's no longer with us. So, wait, what did June say? Yeah, you know what? That's exactly right. When I read a Batman comic, that his his is the voice that I hear, right? Yeah, he put his heart into it. He put effort into it. And it's not like it was the only one. He didn't do that especially 
for June. I think he put he did things especially for June. But I think every video he did, every fan interaction he did, every time he was at a convention, he put everything into it. He was he cared that much, you know what I mean? And he was charging what we have to say is an extremely cheap price. It was like $150 for this 7-minute video. So anyway, I'm getting all emotional, and I think the chat's getting all emotional, and we need to stop talking and show you the video. So I'm going to stop right here, and if anybody wants to say anything into the chat, say it now, because we're going to stop, and we're going to show, or I will edit in the video later, we're going to show the video, and then we're going to show the video with June's reaction. So, you know, rest in peace, Mr. Conroy. Happy birthday, June Arabase. This is Batman calling from Wayne Manor. Your friends John, Kitty, Noun, Barrel, E.B., and Kyle all want to be to send you this shout-out. So this is just for you, June, for your birthday. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. And remember, it's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. <laughs> okay. Now, this is Kevin. Happy birthday, June. You know, the amazing thing for me about doing this role for so long has been this interaction that I get to have with the audience because the Batman fans are incredible. They're so passionate about the character. And there's this really interesting sense of intimacy that people have with Batman as if they know him. And it's unique for Batman. It's not like that for any of the other superheroes. And I have a theory why. I think it's because of all those superheroes, he's the only one who's actually not a superhero. He doesn't have any superpowers. He can't fly, he can't see through walls. He's a man, he's a human being, he's like you and me. In fact, he's a very flawed man, and he knows he's flawed. He's been damaged by life. But June, we're all flawed. And eventually, we all get a little damaged by life. So it makes him that much more relatable, more accessible, because he's just like us. But since he has no superpower, all he has is his physical strength to to serve him on his mission. And his mission is to rid the world of evil. It's such a noble cause. That's what we love about him. And we love his tenacity. He never gives up. No matter what life throws at him, he keeps coming back for more. Those are qualities we can all aspire to. Because you don't have to be a superhero to want to give to your family, your friends, your community, to leave the world a better place. You don't have to have superpowers to be tenacious in your goals in life, all you have to do is care enough to try. And the world needs us right now to try more than ever. There is so much crisis in the world. These are crazy times we're living through. They really are. We need each other more than ever. Everyone is, is under so much stress this year. We need each other because we really are all we have. Look. Life is hard for everybody, isn't it? Everyone faces challenges. Everyone faces disappointments. Everyone stumbles and makes mistakes. Everyone knows failure sooner or later in something. I don't care how rich and powerful and successful someone is, they've had failure in their life. They don't brag about it, but you know they have because they're human. And it's part of the human condition. This is a beautiful journey we're on, but it's a difficult journey. And when you face those challenges, you realize really quickly what's important. And it isn't the material stuff, because that stuff can disappear in a heartbeat. It's the people in your life. It's the lives you touch. And the people who touch your life, it's the love in your life. It's jo John and Kitty and Noun and Beryl and E.B. and Kyle. I mean, you have a whole gang of friends who love you. That's what it's about. And especially in a year like this, where we're all feeling so much pressure. And, and your friends told me you've been having a very difficult year. You are not alone. You really aren't. We've all been having periods of, of depression and feeling blue. I mean, there'd be something wrong with you if you weren't feeling that way, you know what I mean? Because this has been really tough for everybody. And that's not to minimize what you're going through. But I think it's just important to keep it in perspective. That you have friends who love you and who want to be there for you. 
And don't do that American thing of being an island, of being stoic, of, you know, bearing it alone. We do that culturally. And it's, it's just pointless because people want to help you. And we all need help sooner or later. Everybody does. And I always try to do things myself. And then my friends get mad at me <laughs> when they find out that I've been having a really bad time and, they, and I didn't say anything to anybody. <laughs> so it's important to, to let them in because they want to help. So just know you're not alone in this very hard year. And there are friends who love you. Keep believing in yourself, June. The light is at the end of the tunnel. It really is. We are just about to get through this. And you have something unique to give to the world. We all do. We all have a unique perspective. We all have a unique voice to give the world. We do. And it's your obligation to do it because the world needs you. And it needs John, and it needs Kitty, and it needs Noun, Barrel, E.B., Kyle. It needs Kevin. It needs all of us to be 100%. So have a great holiday. Have a brilliant birthday. And next year, your birthday will be celebrated so big by all your friends. <laughs> I had a birthday just a couple of weeks ago. And what did I do? Nothing. I had like a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> because this year, you can't see anybody. So take care. And remember, June, Batman believes in you. Have a great birthday. Did I kill him? He has only lost consciousness. Excellent shot, Gillian, hitting him in the hand like that. That's not exactly how I planned it. Is it time? What what's going on? You know what? Uh... Okay. What what what's happening? What y'all have been hyping me up on this shit for? Uh... Yeah, I'll put my monitor capture up. Give me a second here. Okay, well, actually, I, I actually can't fucking see my uh, chat now. Let me, uh... Okay, so what is this? Check with Whisper. Okay, um... I don't know, what is this? Happy birthday, June Arabes. This is Batman calling from Wayne Manor. Your friends John, Kitty, Noun, Barrel, E.B., and Kyle all want to be to send you this shout-out. So this is just for you, June, for your birthday. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Did you fucking... Are you fucking... You are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. <laughs> now, this is Kevin. Happy birthday, June. You know, the amazing thing for me about doing this role for so long has been this interaction that I get to have with the audience because the Batman fans are incredible. They're so passionate about the character. And there's this really interesting sense of... You fucking got Kevin Conroy. ...as if they know him. And it's unique for Batman. It's not like that for any of the other superheroes. And I have a theory why. I think it's because of all those superheroes, he's the only one who's actually not a superhero. He doesn't have any superpowers. He can't fly. He can't see through walls. He's a man. He's a human being. He's like you and me. In fact, he's a very flawed man. And he knows he's flawed. He's been damaged by life. But June, we're all flawed. And eventually, we all get a little damaged by life. So it makes him that much more relatable, more accessible, because he's just like us. But since he has no superpower, all he has is his physical strength to to serve him on his mission. And his mission is to rid the world of evil. It's such a noble cause. That's what we love about him. 
And we love his tenacity. He never gives up. No matter what life throws at him, he keeps coming back for more. Those are qualities we can all aspire to. Because you don't have to be a superhero to want to give to your family, your friends, your community, to leave the world a better place. You don't have to have superpowers to be tenacious in your goals in life. All you have to do is care enough to try. And the world needs us right now to try more than ever. There is so much oh, I can't in the believe you did so happy. We're living through. They really are. We need each other more than ever. Everyone is, is under so much stress this year. We need each other because we really are all we have. Look. Life is hard for everybody, isn't it? Everyone faces challenges. Everyone faces disappointments. Everyone stumbles and makes mistakes. Everyone knows failure sooner or later in something. I don't care how rich and powerful and successful someone is. They've had failure in their life. They don't brag about it, but you know they have because they're human. And it's part of the human condition. This is a beautiful journey we're on, but it's a difficult journey. And when you face those challenges, you realize really quickly what's important. And it isn't the material stuff, because that stuff can disappear in a heartbeat. It's the people in your life. It's the lives you touch. And the people who touch your life. It's the love in your life. It's jo John and Kitty and Noun and Beryl and Evie and Kyle. I mean, you have a whole gang of friends who love you. That's <laughs> And especially in a year like this, where we're all feeling so much pressure. And, and your friends told me you've been having a very difficult year. You are not alone. You really aren't. We've all been having periods of, of depression and feeling blue. I mean, there'd be something wrong with you if you weren't feeling that way, you know what I mean? Because this has been really tough for everybody. And that's not to minimize what you're going through. But I think it's just important to keep it in perspective. That you have friends who love you. And who want to be there for you. And don't do that American thing of being an island. Of being stoic. Of, you know, bearing it alone. We do that culturally. And it's, it's just pointless. Because Damn people right. want to help you. And we all need help sooner or later. Everybody does. And I always try to do things myself. And then my friends get mad at me <laughs> when they find out that I've been having a really bad time. And, they, and I didn't say anything to anybody. <laughs> so it's important <laughs> to, to let them in. I can't they believe you, you guys did uh, what? at the end of the tunnel. It really is. We are just about to get through this. And you have something unique to give to the world. We all do. We all have a unique perspective. We all have a unique voice to give the world. We do. And it's your obligation to do it because the world needs you. And it needs John and it needs Kitty and it needs Noun, Barrel, E.B., Kyle. It needs Kevin. It needs all of us to be 100%. So have a great holiday. Have a brilliant birthday. And next year, your birthday will be celebrated so big by all your friends. <laughs> I had a birthday just a couple of weeks ago. And what did I do? Nothing. I had like a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> because I want a peanut butter sandwich. I can't see anybody. So take care. And remember, June, that man believes in you. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love you all so much. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. 
How did you get Kevin Conroy to do this? I love that you picked Kevin Conroy because it's funny because Kitty and I have been going to, um, I mean, okay, yes, you picked him, but Kitty and I have been going to Batman the Animated Series, and so this is just, like, really on point. You're the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that. Because when y'all told me that you had a guest plan for me, I was just like, w what, well, what is this? I'm just like, mm. so it was really weirding me out. And then I find out <laughs> you pulled this. Yeah. Oh my God, Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't completely remember what I, I, it's like I asked, I think I asked if you commissioned some artwork for me or something. Gilbert Gottfried would totally have said pepperoni nipple. Oh my god, imagine if you had gotten him to say fresh bananas every day in, in the voice. Fresh bananas every day! I do love Batman. Batman believes in me. Hmm. That makes me so happy. Thank you for the bitch. Thank you for everything. God, so much, so much. I got so many alerts while I was uh, watching that. I didn't have a chance to look. Oh my god. Uh, you, you people are the best. How How is it... How am I so lucky to have you off the front? Ah, uh, all right. Okay. Back to the game, I guess. <laughs> uh, how can I even fucking follow up with that? Damn.